Hi there and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to forces. Our first exam question states, complete the sentence. Use an answer from the box. The compressed spring stores what energy? Well, compressed string is part of the elastic potential energy store. So the compressed strings store elastic potential energy. Okay, so elastic potential energy would be your answer for that. That would get you one mark. Next question, the child has a weight of 343 newtons, gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons um, per kg, write down the equation which links gravitational field strength, mass and weight. So weight is going to be equal to your mass multiplied by your gravitational field strength, okay, field strength. Okay, and that would be worth one mark. Next question, it says, calculate the mass of the child. And it's worth three marks. So we need to work out the mass. We're given the weight and we're given the gravitational field strength. So the weight is 343 newtons. And that's equal to the mass multiplied by 9.8. Now, in order to work out the mass over here, we need to rearrange the formula so we get the mass onto one side. And in order to do that, we need to divide by 9.8 on both sides. So we're going to divide by 9.8. We're going to be left with 343 divided by 9.8. And you can just use the calculator to type that in. 343 divided by 9.8. And that's going to give you an answer of 35. So the mass of the child is going to be 35 kilograms, okay? If we move on now, that's going to be worth three marks there. The figure below shows the horizontal forces acting on a car. Which one of the statements best describes the motion of the car? Now, in the easterly direction, we have 800 newtons of force. And in the westerly direction, we have 800 newtons of force. Now, this core cannot be stationary because there's forces acting in both direction, which are not zero. However, the resultant force is zero because there is no dominant direction of a force. So it won't be stationary because there is a force which is not zero acting in both directions. It will have a constant speed because there is no resultant force on acting on the car that would be worth one mark next question when two objects interact they exert forces on each other which statement about the forces is correct now this is relating to Newton's third law um, which statement is correct the correct statement is that the forces they will be equal in size but they will act in opposite direction okay and that would be worth one mark Next question, a fisherman pulls a boat towards land. The forces acting on the boat are shown in diagram one. The fisherman exerts a force of 300 newtons on the boat. The sea exerts a, reserve, a recessive force of 200, uh, 250 newtons on the boat. Describe the motion of the boat. Well, the resultant force is 50 newtons to the right. So the resultant force <clears throat> the resultant force is 50 newtons to the right okay as you can see 300 newtons and 250 newtons the difference is 50 newtons to the right now what does this mean it means that the boat will accelerate in the direction of that resultant force so the boat will accelerate in the direction of the resultant force and that would be worth two marks okay next question when the boat reaches land the recessive force increases to 300 newtons the fisherman continues to exert a force of 300 newtons. Describe the motion of the boat. Again, 
now the force is acting in both directions opposite directions are equal so the resultant force has become zero however it won't stay stationary because there's a force which is acting in both direction so it will continue to move in the direction it was moving but at constant velocity to the right okay and that would be worth one mark and the next question says explain your answer why is it constant velocity to the right well two marks the first mark is the forces are balanced so the resultant force will be zero so the boat will continue at a steady speed okay and that would get you two marks there okay if we move on next question a bus is taking some children to school the bus has to stop a few times the figure below shows the distance time graph for part of the journey now how far has the bus traveled in the first 20 seconds so 20 seconds if we go up over here we have 20 seconds over here and the bus has traveled a hundred meters so you would just write a hundred meters there for one mark next question it says describe the motion of the bus between 20 seconds and 30 seconds so let's mark 20 seconds 20 seconds is over here and 30 seconds is over here and as you can see there is a flat line now on a distance time graph that flat lines means stationary so describe the motion of the bus well the bus is stationary okay and that would get you one mark the next question is describe the motion of the bus between 30 seconds and 60 seconds well if we have a look now there's a steep drive and there's a curve it's a steep drive um, and that shows accelerating so the correct answer would be accelerating for one mark okay final question now Figure one shows the distance time graph for a person walking to a bus stop. Which one of the following statements describes the motion of the person between points R and S? Now again, look at the axis first. This is a distance time graph. So you know that a flat line is going to show stationary. So it says points R and point S. So that is going to show that the person is going to be stationary so the correct answer over here would be not moving or you could have said stationary okay and that would get you one mark and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell